The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. Brought to you by Nadex. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. We appreciate your growling and prowling with us out here. Right now, we have the Dow Industrials up 164. You get the Nasdaq up 48. S&Ps are up 9. Gold contract on $9.10, trading 13, 14 an ounce. We had silver uh, down 17 cents, sixteen dollars twenty-three cents. Now both gold and silver, they're banging the bottom of this consolidation. So uh, <laughs> watch Coming out. Coming into those levels, man. Coming into the levels. We get the Fed meeting uh, tomorrow and Wednesday. Yep. Yep. Uh, Light sweet crude uh, down forty-two cents, trading sixty-seven sixty-seven. We get notes and bonds. Ten-year note flat, one nineteen sixteen. Now the ten-year got back inside the higher range. Uh, Friday, 119.14 is the number. 30 year up seven ticks, 143.16. King dollar, King dollar up 257 ticks, 91,600. That's testing the uh, January 11th swing high. It failed on Friday, testing it again. Euros at 120.83. The yen is trading at 109.31. And uh, we got green, we got window dressing, we got uh, the Fed meeting. Yeah, announcement Wednesday, right? And we'll see what they have to say. They're so not expecting what's going right on with Apple? That's what I was going to say. Can you jump into Let's it? Because, man, something so happened right at the opening bell. The pre-market, it wasn't even close. Um, maybe even the news just started Let's off. See. I'm, I'm so, curious what they're going to be saying. And Apple's coming out with this numbers. So, <laughs> look at it. It's all negative, really. Apple, Apple estimates cut again at Oppenheimer. <laughs> Apple results so that, to show. Uh, I was just going to say, I'm, I'm, I, so I was only looking at news after like literally 9:30 because we'll pull up the chart. Yeah. So you have analysts, and uh, maybe they got an upgrade. Um, maybe they have profits in India. I'm trying to scan everything because, man, we'll go to. I mean, they had a cut. Yeah. To, yeah. To, let, to, let because when you go to the chart, man, day. look at that. It just mean, popped. Yeah. You and, get buyers and going nothing pre-market. And we're up five dollars. And just to pull it up, even to see the, uh, can we just type because yeah. the pre-market, I mean nothing. Whoops. And we'll jump to that sprint deal because that's pretty interesting as well. But I mean, look at that, nothing. Nobody right. knew what was going to happen. Nine fifteen right. is trading down there at one sixty-two. And um, deviant. See, rumors, market talk, and big stock buyback. Yeah, they're going to need a stock buyback to hold the stock up. That's what's going on. <laughs> Pretty remarkable, man. Pretty big move. I mean, you're approaching 3% on, on a company like Apple. Right. Um, so how about uh, Sprint and T-Mobile, right? Yeah, and Sprint is getting crashed. I know. So I was reading an article this morning and just saying that maybe some of that hype, though, um, is ill-advised because they tried to do this deal four years ago. Yeah. And regulators didn't go for it. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. And I... so it's a different environment yeah. with the likes of you know Verizon yep. and um, AT&T ramping up their own, yes. you know, uh, whether it's content, their own deals. So to compete with them, they might have a, a better argument to say that we need to merge. But that's kind of what they say, what they, what some people are saying. Could uh, be yeah, I think, I think they're going to have a, a pretty good argument. The reason being is that... Which one? Which, just which way? That they the, should the, not be able to merge? That or? they should, no. That they should. Yeah, because, I agree. Right. Because when you look at the numbers, uh, Bloomberg was breaking down the numbers. I was reading them Friday night. And the numbers, they're all going to almost be doing the same amount of revenue, you know, within okay. two or three billion of each other. And it, 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 I was just going to say, it kind of makes sense in terms of like, I'm never too worried about the big third player in the market, right? right I mean, you have right. Verizon, you have AT&T, right. um, the three and four players in the, right. in the market merging doesn't seem like just intuitively, the consumers will be hurt too badly because guess what? If that company does, well, Verizon and AT&T should swoop in and provide competition, you know, and the yeah. likes. I mean, the scary part is when you have somebody like the Amazon just controls everything, right. you know, and that is where right. you really could see. And I'm sure Ma Bell and Verizon are not liking that. That guy, John Legend, man, he is a legend because he'll do deals that, you know, that that's the guy that runs T-Mobile. Okay. So he comes on with deals that they always had said that no, they're never going to work. And guess what? He accelerated that growth that folks never thought that could happen. Sure. And bottom line is that he delivered product 
at a less expensive price. Sure. So it's yeah. you know, it's a it's a big number. It'll be interesting to see how it shakes out either way for sure. No doubt. Yeah. Let's go take a look at the, some of the higher volume stocks out here today. So well, actually, let's go look at gold first because for all you gold bulls and silver bulls out here, this is. Uh, <laughs> Right at critical. Ooh, this is good. Okay. Critical stage. Yeah, yeah. When, I, when I was leaving, you know, the house a little bit earlier, it was yeah, we're, going. Yeah, we down to like thirteen twelve, right? Yeah, thirteen yeah. ten. See, it go. was going up. Yeah. The swing low was thirteen oh nine. Okay. And but you know you don't want to be down there, man. You right. know, no, that's want, the very very yeah, low, right? I want to really be inside this thirteen fifteen. Okay. And the reason that's I'm the low of March twenty first. Yeah, yeah, and you can see that's the strength. Sure. You know, we hit there three times. We say so it's where we went all the way from there really quickly up to thirteen sixteen. And if it can stay. Inside that, yeah. you know, you're, you're basically uh, you're all right. But man, oh, see, this is yeah, good. Yeah. I like this. So what we're looking at, folks, is that you actually came off of this with big strength. You, you get a buyer. Yeah. You get a buyer. Ten minute bar. Yeah. Ten minute that? bar. Go That's fifteen thousand contracts. No, it's a six dollar bar. We got thirteen eleven yeah. to thirteen seventeen. It's almost ten percent of what the market has done sure. so far. Sure. That's good. That's what we need. Let's see if we get something in silver. Silver. Where is silver? Let's see. So. Towards the, yeah. Okay, so yeah, that's good. Okay. Yep. Same thing. You get the same buyer. Big, big, big one for both of them. Now, the you know if you haven't test driven the, the goal report, folks. You can come over to our website, test drive it, 30 days money back guarantee. But I want to show you something on, on a stock that we do like that I don't own, but we've had Rob McEwen on many times. Because watch how this thing is going to shake out. This is going to be interesting. So when I was doing the gold report this morning, this stock here, Thomas, had a shot interest at 18% for a long period of time. Okay. Okay, which is a monster. Yes. Now, when that normally happens, folks, you're normally doing a secondary. Because the way it would work, let's say that, uh, that if you're the broker dealer, now, this is, in Canada, this happens all the time, and it's a close call of how this is supposed to happen, but, but this is what happens. I'm going to do a secondary. I'm talking to you to do a, do a secondary. All of a sudden, your firm and a couple other firms, they start charting the stock because they know that I'm going to the market for money. As I go to the market for money, they're secured in the aspect that if it's at two dollars, they're only going to price that at a buck eighty or something. Okay, so immediately they are hedged. Well, so let me show you what happened here. This is this but that's insider trading, right? Just so it's not. I, this is sure? where this is where it's. Uh, if they come to a private company with private. Okay, I just want to be clear on what. You no, know, I, I, this is this happens like more in Canada. That's why I really don't know whether it's insider okay. trading, but I do know that this is how they. When they're doing a secondary. This is what happens, and we'll find, we have to find out in Canada if this There's is... There's a lot of reasons, too, why the short interest can be high. That's one reason. Just in terms of Tesla, it's, it's high because, you know, not for a yeah, second. I'm not talking about... Right. Any, I am talking about specifically a secondary coming out. So now we went from 18% to 19.4%. So watch what happens. For a short interest, yep. Yeah. So he filed, he filed on the 27th a $200 million mixed shelf offering which is friday yep yeah and this is what this is folks once you file one of these in canada right you can do a, a secondary any second of the day sure and 200 million of this stock is almost 30 percent of the float okay <laughs> you know so what okay so who, when we'll they say 200 million is that shares or is that equity that's uh, what we'll have to get in okay yeah stay right there we'll get we'll we'll bring you right back folks Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Thank you.
platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Techno Mental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. We take your phone calls now. now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648, internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. Dow right now is up by 136. You get the Nasdaq up 41. S&Ps are up seven. If we go over to, uh, I got to get Rob on too. I'll call him up. Yeah. Uh, we go over to McEwen Mining. Uh, that's what we're talking here. So let's see. It's 200 yes, million Canadian. Yeah. So that's what it is. So what happens with these folks? And so if we look at the market cap, so look what happens here. Like 700 million. I yeah. See. You know, it's like okay, man. Now, that's pretty intense. So. What you what you want to be positioned on this, folks? Uh, it doesn't necessarily mean that they'll do a, a secondary under the price, but that's how most secondaries get done. Sure, you know what yeah. I mean? Whether it's ten cents under the price you or don't whatever. Do it above because anybody can just buy it in the market. Exactly, so, yeah. exactly. So if you do own this, you know, take heed of what's going on. If you don't own it, get ready. I would get ready to buy because I love the setup. Can and, you go into their financials at some point, too? Yeah, I'm just curious yeah. what they're doing with yes. the short interest that high in yeah, terms of, let's yeah, see. he's not available. That's what I was thinking is. But he's taking in money, though. Let's no, see. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's, yeah, he went from, okay, yeah. so more than likely, I would say that what what's going on here is that he probably is looking to buy more mines, you know? Did they buy a mine coming into 2018? Is that that jump? Yeah, he yeah. keeps, he keeps, I you know, he's, so. he's been, he's been buying, not, not big mines, but we know, I mean, this guy's the guy that built Gold oh, Club yeah. up, you know Nothing what I mean? Respect for him, for sure. So, um, we will. It is interesting in terms of, you know, um, negative numbers last right. year, negative numbers this year. Right. I'm not sure where that, you know, four pennies comes from in 2019. Right. So. Right, so yeah. he's probably, if we dug into it more, he's probably maybe building a mine up. But do you know what? We will get him on. That's what we'll find out. Sounds good. Um... It's Monday. What do we got Monday? We got everything. We got Bitcoin. We do. We get Bitcoin. We got the Nadex spreads in Bitcoin, folks. If you haven't test drove that Nadex, uh, well, someone's going to tell us. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry about that. So, sorry about that. If you haven't test drove, what you're talking about. You know, we got hundreds you, of people watching us. If, I don't know what's you, going on. If you haven't test drove the test Nadex, driven. We'll get out of the the Nadex uh, platform, folks, great time to do it. Monday at 8 o'clock, they start the spreads in, in Bitcoin. They go till uh, 3 o'clock on two, Friday afternoon. Um, 
So Bitcoin right now, 9,300, right? I jumped in here this morning, so they have a 10,000 spread. So as Bitcoin has appreciated in price a little bit, yeah. we, we, did a, we had 8,000 dollar spreads last week right yeah and even the week prior because that's when it was at six thousand seven thousand uh, but now that it's up around ninety five hundred they're comfortable giving you five thousand dollars to the downside Jeez. with five thousand to the upside well they want to have some type of comparable risk reward right um, on each side and so maybe four thousand wasn't enough because if you go four thousand down you're fifty two hundred whereas you go four thousand up you're at thirteen two so maybe there was an easier chance that was going to peak out versus uh, oh, so yeah. okay. you know you I have to have it. comparable On both sides yeah. I got it. right right and so you have ten thousand dollars of full value middle of the spread is going to be ninety three hundred basic whoops basically right where we're trading at right now and this is going to represent half a bitcoin per contract right okay so they do vary occasionally, but as you can see, look at that. Well, oh, we're right at 9,300. That is so cool. You know, that's where. So right now, you have lost potential down to 4,300. Yeah. But you're trading for every dollar in movement in Bitcoin, you have 50 cents in your contract. You want to trade dollar for dollar? Simple enough, right? That you, is two a, contracts. It's right on the penny. You're trading dollar for it. dollar. Yeah. And you know the reason why it's right on the penny is because it's actually the indice is a little bit under it. Yeah. So you know if you were selling it, you're getting a slightly against your, you know, as in yeah, it just... $20 against yeah, you. Yeah, and then, you know, you sell and it. And buying it, you're it, $15 you know. over it. Yeah. 14 yeah. yeah. It's basically... That's, it, that's it's basically the, the bid offer spread is sure. right straddling um, the, the indicative index. So we've gotten some nice action in Bitcoin over the last few weeks in terms of up and down yeah. mo movement in both directions. But yeah, we're right at the min, you know, beginning of the trading week. You got $5,000 in each way, and we'll see where... Uh... Yeah, it's pretty cool. These spreads, just in markets in general, have got so narrow. I mean, that's amazing that that spread is that narrow. Sure. You know? Yeah. No, I mean, you're talking about $30 spread completely, and you're talking about basically just 10 to $15 on each side for something that's moving thousands of dollars totally. in some weeks, totally. if not just hundreds is nothing. Yeah. You know, I mean, realistically, you can't buy a gold coin for less than a 3% premium. Sure. You know? sure. So, I mean, that's pretty intense. And sure. that's, a, that's at a spot price. Definitely. So, you know. so, jumping around completely, I just saw this is, we're jumping away from the market, but um, so Avengers, right? Do you see yeah. this movie out? So, they shattered all the box office records, hauled in $630 million in a weekend. worldwide over the weekend, but that's without China, too. And China for these movies is, is an amazing number. That so, is amazing. So, domestically, um, they took in $250 million, which I believe beat. Did they beat the... Yes, they bested the previous record set by The Force Awakens, Star Wars. Wow. Um, and, and pretty remarkable, man. $630 million in a weekend, and they haven't even hit China yet. Um, I mean, pretty remarkable. So I saw that over the weekend, the people that love all these films, they had a 31 hours of... Film, okay, uh, of the like, Avenger in New York, okay, yeah, and they had they had people. That's, they're know, all in their not their pajamas, but they're sure. all in you know no, clothes. The outfits, yeah, right. yeah, not pajamas. No. <laughs> um, but what I so the previous record for the world was 5:41. Man, they came in at 6:30, and that's without China again, which is just remarkable. Is um, yeah, and then and then this was amusing. The, of, in a very distant second place was John Krasinski, who I like, a quiet place with 10 million. So, so is the Avengers a... Um, it's a Marvel... It's a Marvel, yeah. exactly. Okay, and so I haven't... I just saw the last one that was that's out, and a, I liked You know, it. I haven't seen yeah. them enough to know there's... there's you know, I think every movie has its own plot, of course. Yeah. But it's nice if you know what's going on from the previous movies, and I haven't really kept up with yeah. them, so I'd like to see those before I, I well, go I see Well, I was surprised song. at the... how the technology inside like a comic made it so real it oh, was like sure, that's right. what was like yeah. really in impressive i was just amazed at the numbers it was worth oh, mentioning in God. terms of the Huge. financial arena um pretty remarkable marvel studios uh whew, not bad billion dollars over a weekend yeah. for, for a inflation movie. so we might be hitting inflation yeah so you had the u.s consumer prices that came out at 0.3 percent from march they they increased the same margin in february um, ahead of, like we said, the Fed coming out with their meeting Tuesday, Wednesday, have a statement Wednesday. Um, the rise in annual inflation measures reported by the Commerce Department Monday was anticipated by economists and Fed officials, and it's not expected to change what the Fed is going to be doing, but still pointing to some um, yeah. inflation for sure. And then did you see McDonald's? They're crushing it. They're uh, same store sales in the U.S. growing at 3%. I mean, that's just such a number when you talk about what are they growing thousand right? I mean, everybody already, they're already packed. I mean, anybody, yeah. you pass a McDonald's on the way to work, man, they got like 15 people waiting in the drive-thru for their breakfast, right, right. 3%. They're saying breakfast all day 
is yeah. is a big mover, and now I guess the fresh meat uh, burger. You okay. Know? So um, so is does McDonald's have the fresh meat? Is that what they were talking yeah, about? Or because yeah. I know when, those, when those those two they that's what I just heard in Bloomberg okay. way, that those two uh, are really getting them some big numbers. So the numbers were dollar seventy nine a share versus dollar sixty seven. Yeah. Um, Five point one four versus four point that. nine eight, and that's I mean just same store though. I mean that's that's it just blows my mind how these companies when you think. You know, any store is kind of matured in terms of its environment. You're reaching people, but no, they just keep crushing it. And like you said, you know, they got soft drinks for a dollar, McCafe, um, McPick, Mix and Match 2, kind of all a, a contingent on that dollar menu and, and pricing it. Pretty cool. Wow. 877-927-6648. We have the Dow Industrials right now, folks, trading up uh, 65. We're giving it up. Yeah. Uh, S&Ps are up 2.5. Coming right back. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. Everbank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. Everbank Bank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender. Hi folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Eddie Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, we have the Dow up 79, Nasdaq's up 34, S&Ps are up 4. And, uh, if, you know, if you want to really understand... Oh, let's put it over there just okay. a second. If you really want to understand uh, why real estate is so expensive uh, out west, so what has happened, I believe it started... The we end of say last just in week, like San Francisco, right? I mean, out west. Yeah, it's like this. Oh, in Seattle, Seattle. Yes, also. Seattle too, yeah. for sure. Um, so, what has happened at the end of last week is that public companies have to 
put up their work as median pay. Yeah, median versus CEO pay, yeah, right? Well, right. median pay, because everyone knows the CEO pay right. already, but um, median pay, yeah. And, and so check this out, folks. This is like just so, I was, I read this last week, but the journal has it again this morning. Yeah. Facebook, the median pay is 240 grand. The top's 240 even, pretty remarkable. Now yeah. listen to this, though. They have 27,000 employees. Okay, <laughs> yeah. 27,000 employees. Now Google is right up there, too. Um, it was 220, 240, okay. something like that. And I'm just jumping around. This article has Twitter in there at 161. Wow, um, that is unbelievable. I mean, I'm 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 not too amazed. I'm really not because how else do those companies function in terms of being able to have people that can even reside in that area? You know, you can't pay somebody sixty thousand dollars a year out there, let alone the 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 level of skill of the worker they're bringing in. Number one. And then just cost of, cost of living, straight out, I right? guess so, but it's a mind blower. Okay, so Google has 85,000 employees. Yeah. What did I say with uh, Facebook? 27,000? Yeah. 27,000. TWTR. Twitter yeah. has 3,000, different ball game. And so they go over that, you know, Zuckerberg's compensation was 8.8 .8 million, but what happens is a lot of that's coming yet. Yeah, do they say, yeah, so normally Zuckerberg's pulling in nothing, basically. A dollar, yeah. yeah that's but what, what happens is, is that security and travel costs are factored in because they're yep. just to him. So you have that coming from basically security and travel that the company's that's paying That's 8 for. million, yeah. right. And realistically, that doesn't seem that bad for somebody of that much value not, to them, you know, and just not. making sure you have security right. and travel and, and, and so forth, yeah. Wow. Pretty remarkable, it, though, it, when it, you see it in... Um, you know what's in interesting? Um, let's pull up, uh, I'll put the Bloomberg uh, yeah. Insight. Insight. INCY? Yeah, INCY. Let's see what they have because this also, and where they're located. So that's only in Wilmington, De Delaware. Not bad. $13.2 billion company, only one, uh, 1,200 employees. And this company here is way up there too. I, I, I forget what it's over 200 grand. I would, just, you know, it, it's it's easier when you only have a thousand employees, right? Yeah, in terms of right. everyone should be worth right. more because right. man, to run a 13 billion dollar company and only a thousand employees, it's pretty cool. And then Amazon. So the the difference with Amazon, of course, is that you just have so many warehouse workers. This is looking like 24 thousand. That's yeah, and that's yeah. where things vary. You right. know, in terms of Facebook, doesn't have. A low-level employee engineers, like that's that. That's it. You right? know? That's I mean, all they have is right. engineers, probably, and that's right? Where, so you're dealing with a, an employee base that is highly educated, highly skilled, um, versus Amazon has both. You know, Amazon has some low-skill manual labor yep. um, employees that balance that out. But that's why I really wasn't surprised because every employee um, at Facebook is, you know, top of the world in terms of probably, you know, their, their skill base. Oh, to, to work there, in terms no of programming doubt. everything. So you're already starting with a highly skilled, highly sought after worker. Then you're going into an area that they have to premium pay you as well. You know, if you were, if you had Facebook here, they'd be getting a great salary because they're some of the best workers. Then add on top of that the fact that man, cost of living, pretty remarkable. No, it is. Yeah. Some of the higher volume stocks out oh, here today. Look at that. 46 million shares of Sprints. <laughs> yeah, they they slammed that thing they down. They did. Yeah. And let's 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 look at that. So. The takeover is at uh, six something. Right? Is that what it is? Yeah. Okay. It would make sense in terms of that's where it was at before today. Yeah. So. It'll be blocked. Let's see. Dead on arrival. <laughs> uh, Maybe just scroll down. Yeah. I was gonna say because there's so many articles. What's happening is that we're uh, we're only into like nine o'clock news even currently. Let me try this one maybe. Let's see. 26, I think it, the real question's gonna be is, is it a stock deal? If it's a stock deal, then we gotta look it at- It is a stock deal. Okay. It's an all stock deal. Okay, so we yeah. gotta go look at T-Mobile. It's uh, an all stock deal. TMUS. Okay. Okay, so that went down too. So yeah. that's that's what it's predicated on. Because wherever T-Mobile trades, that's where started. That's where that's gonna trade. Yeah. But guess what? You're, come, you're coming right back into its strength. So, 60 bucks comes into the strength, light volume. I think this deal's going to go. We'll see. It'll be an interesting debate as they start talking about the advantages, disadvantages to the companies, consumers, jobs, all that stuff. Right, right. right. But I agree with you that I think the general consensus for consumers is that they wouldn't be as worried about that. So it'd be interesting, you know, to see how those companies try and capitalize off that, saying, you know, we're not too scared of 
those companies price gouging, um, yeah. you know, anti-competitive nature. And you know what they're doing at the beginning, folks, and this is probably a little political, too. They're, they're saying they're going to keep both headquarters. So, so okay. one's, one's in Kansas. Sure. Because you're not going to say you're going to move a headquarters. That's what I know. What else And the others say, in right? Washington. Everything. It's, yeah. It's, 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 that's, I mean, you almost shouldn't listen to that as in, you know. Exactly. They're in a PR yeah. battle right now. Right. Of course, they're going right. to say, no, we're not going to lose a single job. We're going to hire no. three million people. Everyone's yeah. going to make out for the best. And then it's for the other side to interpret yeah. what is reality. Let's go look at uh, the good old dollar index. So dollar index is going into the highs of Friday. Let's see what we got going here. We gave it up Friday. Well, this is this is a good test. I like this test. So, you know, see, we came into that high on Friday. We had some good volume, but now the volume is dying on the vine. Now you got to reject price in order to get lower. Uh, Friday we did uh, 30,000 contracts. We're at 15. That'll only do about 22. Yeah. We'll see. We're near the highs of it. We'll see. Yeah. We'll see if uh, the baby's going to hold or not. Um, okay. So numbers this week. We had uh, we get big numbers this week too. Apple is. May 1st, I think. I believe so. Yeah. May 1st. It's going we... to be Wednesday, I believe, right? We already have Facebook. Or that's No, yeah, Facebook's yeah, already they're done. They're out early. Um, we already had Intel. We had Microsoft. Um, we'll pull them up. Yeah. But that was the big one, Apple, for sure. Let's go into the uh, XAU, the HUI. So these little babies, these acted much better than the actual physical metal. Today's not bad either. You know, you, you get a, you're down a buck fourteen. As long as it's this, like the XAU, it can hold the eighty dollars. It's not bad. Okay. The gold bugs index, that's lining up probably around the same area. Oh, well, this is strong. This is good. Yeah, hold one seventy eight, and you're, you're not bad. But we are gonna have some monster volatility come Wednesday at two o'clock. Yeah. Yeah. See what they have I to say so. about future rate hikes. You got some inflation data out there hanging, so. And, you know, so when we look at the Fed fund future, you can see, yeah. you know, May, I mean, June 13th, the number, 92%. Yeah. Very, very slim likelihood that they'd be raising rates coming yeah. the May 2nd announcement. But, yeah, once you get into June, for sure. And then that'll put us at, let me see, when we look at that, that's going to be, I think the Fed, okay, the effective rate right now is 1.70. That's up on the corner. So, yeah, and it's based on this though. That's 1. yes. 5, so right. that's where it's going to get us up to one seven five to two. To two, yeah. yeah. Pretty wild. Two percent into the world coming. <laughs> Markets may agree. Dow Industrials up uh, eighty nine. Nasdaq up twenty eight. S and P's up four. We have gold down nine fifty. Silver's off thirteen cents. Come right back, folks. Does the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. No matter what kind of trader you are, 2018 is a great time to try out a subscription to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. Whether you just plan on diversifying your portfolio with some exposure to gold and gold mining equities, or you're a gold bull that sees 2018 as the year of commodities, now is a great time to sign up for the Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his Gold Report every Monday morning before the market opens and covers a variety of topics including gold, silver, platinum, copper, the XAU and HUI, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as more than 20 of the most actively traded mining equities. 
Start your 2018 off with a bang and sign up for The Gold Report today. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. For all the details and to start your subscription right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find The Gold Report under Investment Newsletters. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long long term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light speed world of ever evolving high tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN. TFNN, live on your mobile device, 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow Industrials right now up 116. Nasdaq's up 30. S&Ps are up 6. Let's go see what we get uh, volume-wise right now. So, yeah, it's anemic. Okay, this is going to be pretty cool watching this thing shake out. I mean, it's early, but, you know, sure. bottom line, though, you're coming into 112 million in the SPY, and we've done nine. <laughs> yeah. So my take is that, you know, we're going to creep up, you know, into this meeting and into the but if yeah. it's light volume, that's just setting up the next leg down, man. Because this, you know, when you take a look, if we put channel lines up, uh, you know, at the tops and the bottoms, you can see all this volume's at the bottom. And it's not pretty. Let's, uh, if we put this on a weekly, you're going to see they still stick out like a sore thumb. February 9th. It's, I know, man. <laughs> that day, it just, it just won't go away. No, day, week, totally. Yep. Let's go see what Tesla's doing out here. So that, that's got a little counter trend bounce going. Burning cash. Yeah, I saw some articles about them yeah. burning cash this morning. Seems like power for the course. It is. It, yeah. it, it, I, it, there's no doubt. It's, that's we all know they're burning cash. Exactly. I don't think I need an article to tell me that, right? No, you don't. You don't. <laughs> I need an article to tell me whether they're going to be able to produce a Model 3 anytime soon off right. their production line, as they say they are. And move it out. That's it, right, as they yeah. say, yeah. So if we go into the futures market out here, let's see where oil's at. So oil's still hanging out here. Look at that, 68 bucks, man. It's a big number, man. It is a big number. And guess what? It rejected the lower price out yeah. here this morning. So... This oil market, you know, bought, look at that. You, you actually, so here, yeah, what happened here, folks, now you got light volume, but guess what? That was pulling into his low with what light volume. That's a rejection of price at lower price. This thing wants a higher price, man. We are, we're going to be. We're going to be in $70 oil. We, Tell me that, man. I know, man. We go to Nobody gasoline. Wants to hear that. No, we don't. So gasoline's at 210 Yeah, gasoline broke out. Yeah. So we're going to be paying some money here. Yeah. Coming into the summer. And what we will see, you know, if, if in fact, uh, this thing, let me see. Let me do this a different way. Let me get XB. So XB, I want to put this on a continuous contract. Because this will hit inflation, too. This, this hits oh, inflation definitely. very yeah. quickly, actually. Let's see. Yeah, see, we, we well, it hasn't launched yet. 218. Okay. In June of 15, yeah. that low. You yeah. launch 218, and it's yeah. like the lows of this can You're get back hit. up into that area, right? 265, 275. Definitely. That's a big difference, man, from what we're paying right now. That would Definitely. be the $80, $85 fill-up again, which we right. haven't seen in five yeah. years. Yeah. Right? Four oh, years. definitely, yeah. I mean, gas price at $4, right, which was norm for a period of time. Yeah. Yeah. 
So, it's playoff hockey season, right? We're yeah. Lucky enough, we got to see both of our hometowns play we Saturday, did. Tampa, Boston. They got another game tonight in Tampa, game two. Boston kicked Tampa's butt they in did. game one, man. They pretty did. good. 6 2 was the final. And, uh, Are you going to go tonight? I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> I don't have a ticket yet. We'll see. I'm close to the arena as we talk about, so I'll see maybe, maybe sneak in there with the. Cheap single ticket. No, I know. It's nice to get Tampa prices instead of Boston it's, prices it, for these know, games. It's we amazing. lock out down here. We do. Tampa it's folks. amazing it's, down you here, know, folks. The seats that you can get, um, if you fight for them in Boston, number one, they just don't become available in Boston. And number two, if they do, they, they become available at some crazy prices because supply demand. That's everybody right. wants to go versus down here. You just don't have the type of demand that you do in a big city like Boston. Right. Where the, meanwhile, I mean, Tampa... Um, Lightning have one of the best followings in this area oh, in terms of versus huge. the Rays versus the, even the Bucks. The Lightning packed houses all the time, yep. but still, it's nothing like a big city like Boston right. fighting over this. And you teams. should see, folks, it's pretty cool. Like Tommy and I were thinking, well, talking, like, we're coming out of the game Saturday. Yeah, it's and a 3 o'clock game, so we yeah. come out at 5.36. It's gorgeous out, yeah. right? I mean, it's just hot. You're to freezing in the stadium, yeah. right? I mean, right. And, uh, it was cool. It was in the stadium, but it's remarkable because we're so used to Boston, and we're so used to just hockey in general where you go in at least at 7 yeah. o'clock at night. You come out, pretty surreal to come out of a playoff hockey yeah. game. Bands are playing. Inside. It's 80 degrees and beautiful out. Yeah. And, yeah, people are in shots. But playoff hockey, you gotta love it. There's been some good uh, those Vegas Knights. You see those Vegas Knights, man. So the Las Vegas Knights are an expansion hockey team this year. It's their first year. Andy's team, yeah. They 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 started the season off at like 500 to one odds, 200 to one odds to win it. And so the stories they keep saying are that if they win the cup. Uh, the Vegas sports books are going to get their butts kicked because you have all these locals. It's the first time the Vegas pretty much had a local sports team. Now yeah, you have, right. You have football coming in there too in right. the next two years, but this is the first time you gave people in Vegas a chance to just walk down to the local sports book, place a bet. So you had all these people that did on two hundred to one, on five hundred to one. Oh my! Early God. on in the season, I was reading articles about how people were betting in Vegas was just losing their shirt because you had all these locals betting on Vegas teams and they were just overachieving in the beginning yep. of the season over and over and over and over. So you had the Vegas sports books being like, "This is." like surreal and that we've never had a local team so you have all these locals and they're just crushing it and so if they do come in there's something like a couple hundred people who who would pick them to win it preseason um but those numbers are big when you're dealing with 200 oh, to one 500 to one um and they've been they're, they're doing well man so it's lots of lots of fun storylines for sure no it is it's huge yeah <laughs> And the bookies hardly ever get hit, so it's going to be interesting they, if that's the case. And that's why this is really interesting, because it's literally the first time right. there's been no. a local team in Vegas, and they're just crushing it. And they love it. <laughs> that's I mean, it, yeah, that, no, yeah. and they, you because know, what do not to it, love when your team's like almost a favorite to win the cup. And it's a competition city anyway, yeah, well, right? Of course. I mean, you know, well, realistic action city, yeah, yeah right. no matter what. Uh, but how about, so I read an article, jumping around, we'll get back to the market in a minute, but uh, how... The NHL owners, everyone besides probably the Vegas owner, the last thing they want is for the expansion team to win. Imagine you own an NHL team, right, forever. <laughs> you let this new team come in, and then they get all the, the reap the benefits, you know, as in the, they're going to change how that happens. Maybe the expansion draft, because the goal is not to just give a team to a new owner, and that new owner comes in and, right. and owns the league. You know, not owns the league, but, you know, think so of what I wonder they, how that works when you get an expansion team. Do, so, they, do they get better picks? So it's they. each league has an expansion draft. And what happens okay. is, like, let's say you're the Bruins, I'm the yeah. Lightning. Right. You get to protect certain players okay. where they definitely can't touch them. Yeah. So that you can't lose your, you know, Chara, right, we can't right. lose our, you know, Stamkos, yeah. you know. Right. But you can't protect everybody because they have to have somebody. Okay. And basically, the, the way that they allow the draft to go, they're probably going to protect a few more players wow. to make sure that you can't put together a, a Stanley Cup team uh, out of the gate. You know, you at least have to go through a draft they, or two. They probably did big data. They probably had big data with, well, with all these players saying, just, okay, that's the it. The NHL was probably a little too friendly. That's what they're sitting there yeah. saying, uh, the owners, you know, saying, we're not going to let that happen again because guess what? we got to get ours before we give it to somebody else new. Um, um, but I think it's good for the league in general. Um, oh no matter what. Yeah. So we're maybe, sitting here talking about it. You maybe, know? maybe it's going to be the Las Vegas Knights against the Tampa Bay Lightning, two hot teams. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't know where they, yeah, they would probably face in the finals, right? Because I don't know who we, uh, I think that that's the other side. Is, that's what I just yeah. did in my head, right? right? So we'll right. probably face in the finals. That would be good. Go to Vegas for a game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got to love it. 877-927-664. Let's go look at that 30 year. So, the notes and bonds, bottom line, you know, they're, they're going, man. You know, the 30-year the never, note never broke the low of yeah. February. 
So this is going to be a big week, man, because what you're going to have is that whatever that is in that statement is going to give that, you know, note and bond market basically either crush it or give it some hope. Well, I'll be sitting here Wednesday at 2 o'clock waiting. We will. We will. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. We have the Dow Industrials right now up 127. NASDAQ's up 28. S&Ps are up 5. Coming right back. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, six, and three months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. TFNN has put together the finest programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast eight hours a day, starting at 9 a.m. as Larry Pesavento kicks us off with Trade What You See. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour, following the Tom O'Brien Show. Swim Lessons from TD Ameritrade, Think or Swim, is now at 11 a.m., followed by Basil Chapman at 12 noon. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN shows and hosts. And keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Learn how to trade options with Swim Lessons. Brought to you by TD Ameritrade. Think or Swim. Next on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now is up 124. Nasdaq's up 24. S&Ps are up four and a half. And uh, don't forget, we got uh, uh, swim lessons coming up next. And then, of course, we got our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, Steve Rhodes, Dave White. I'll be back. Can we just put the screen yeah, out? So on. check this out, folks. This is pretty cool. Uh, let's see. What one there was? So, you know, we talk blockchain, right? Well, what's happened is that a bunch of these gold companies have got together. And they have invested in trade uh, win markets. It's going to be I am blockchain, not I am gold. No. Well, it, it's interesting. <laughs> it's just not. So uh, yeah. I pulled up I am gold, but who's also involved in this is Gold Corp. I, yeah, you is, got all the right. Is it up? Okay. Yeah. Nico Eagle, right? Yeah. AM Wheaton. Yeah. Gold Corp. Gold Corp. So um, with it. Sprott Inc. I'm not familiar yeah, with. Sprott yeah, Sprott is the big fund. Okay. 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 Uh, so what they're doing is this. 
This is going to be a blockchain. Right there. Um, right. Speed. Yeah. Speed up and streamline digital gold trading. That's to, to, to actual physical gold. That's, sure, they, sure. You know, so I just, I just... I just... I'm jumping... No, no. I just... Yeah. In order to facilitate trading, settlement, and ownership of, of physical, the physical, physical gold. gold. Pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. So this is going to be interesting to see. Now, this... When you get three big companies like this, the way that gold gets sold now, folks, it goes like this. Let's say you're J.P. Morgan. You're a gold bank, right? I'm the gold digger, right? Yes. I'm the gold digger. We make a deal. You give me the 30-day average price. Okay. So I keep getting the, the gold. Sure. You get a 30-day average. That's what I get on yeah, a continual sure. basis. It's going to be interesting to see what they're trying to do with this. Are they sure. going to bring this from the mine to the actual dealer? Yeah. Uh, and cut out the middle. It's yeah. hard to, you know... No, by storing and tracking the physical gold on blockchain, miners will be able to unlock value by selling directly to the end yeah, user using exactly. the trade platform. We look right. forward to working with like-minded peers. Pretty interesting blockchain, it's, man. No, it's, they it's, say, it's, it's, it's a big... That's what the experts say. It's going to change everything. Well, they did, that's, if they can cut out the, the banks, yeah. I don't know who's going to finance it. You know what I mean? That's, that's why what, you see these banks getting into it as well. Yeah. They want, yeah. Stay right there, folks. Uh, Twin Lessons coming up next. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Thanks, pal. Thanks, man. Oh, go get him, folks. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com.